<laughs> Pup's having a lazy morning. So we've got Stitch, Lilo, Peppa, Charlie, <laughs> and Reba. Hey guys, so it's lunchtime and I'm having some pasta with some um, toasted brown bread with garlic. So there's no oil in this, there's just um, garlic, it's called lazy garlic, it's just garlic soaked in white vinegar because I'm too lazy to do it myself. And there's red peppers, onions, peas, sweet corn and pasta, that's it, no oil, no fat. High carb vegan lunch. No calorie restriction. Hey guys, so I'm about to show you our little junk food haul. There's more stuff, but I'm super excited about these things. So, we, my brother and dad went to cop, and then came back here. The custard vegan donuts. They're not actually made vegans, they're just the normal ones, but they happen to be vegan. Um, which we know about these already. But what I didn't know they did was Chelsea buns, and they are made by Peacock, do you think? No, it's backwards, but other thing that I'm so excited about, so I haven't had these since I'm deep, since I came vegan, is London cheesecake, and there's actually no eggs or dairy in these at all, which is super exciting. And again, it's not something they eat all the time, and you know, um, it's not the healthiest option, but you can so easily be vegan and just eat all the things that you love that are non-vegan. Um, I'll do another haul later, so see you soon. Clean them up and the rabbits so I'll just quickly give you another little cage tour because they got some new toys so, if I just so it essentially looks the same except they got a new box with new holes cut into it as you can see their mazes going through and then in the kind of toilet area I put newspaper instead of cat litter on the bottom because I think that's going to work better they've now got a new water bottle and now we're joyous sitting I'm going to put their dry food and and this bowl is going to be their raw food and then they don't have um, the whole area so cat little box or the little box area anymore because um, they only kind of do it in that corner over there so that's where the little box is going to be so hopefully they'll leave this kind of grassy bit for them to sort of play in and then in here we've got a little tunnel way and they're blanky and they've got their grass underneath here but then they got this new little fuzzy little house thing um, because it's getting colder at night so 
I want them to have some cage and now uh, I'll just show you the rabbit pens. You can see the So this is where Jerry and Nemo live. Pretty good here because the concrete's really easy to clean and they've got the little house they go into at night. And then this bit here stays dry even when it's raining. Uh, I will get some more boxes um, to put in there. And I could just store them underneath there at night when it rains. And then this bit of sort of fake grass I just put over their cage at night um, to keep them warm and just so they can't really be seen by foxes or anything like that. And then this is Tommy and Dory's. And Dory is a little bit more nervous, so I cover her cage with the fake grass all day just so that she feels that she's got safe places to go. And they actually sit up on top of their little hutch at night um, during the day, so it's almost soft for them to sit, whereas they wouldn't sit out here really. And they've both got water bowls that they can get to, and then they've got water bottles on their cages as well. And then um, they go into that hutch at night, which again I cover up just so that they're not seen, they can't be seen by foxes or anything like that. So let's this just. Is their hutch at the moment, which is actually, I think, too small for them, but at the moment it's all that I've got, and they don't really spend that much time in their hutch other than at night. So let me just show you. So under here. Over here we have Tom and he's got lots and lots of hay in there to keep him to keep them nice and warm and so they've got lots to munch on at night. And then open this up. There's a little bedroom. This that that's where their bedroom is. That's kind of where they sleep and go to the bathroom so there's mostly shavings in there to keep them warm. And then like I said they've got this really thick sort of grass stuff on top so it insulates. So they can actually go underneath the hutch as well, like right underneath there. And they can go all the way along and they come under here. And then Dory, pretty sure, yeah, she's in there. She likes to kind of hide because she's, I'm not going to get her up because she's a lot more nervous. Um, we didn't rescue her too quite late in her life so she, they said that she was aggressive but she's not, she's just not been played with so she doesn't really like people that much so if she wants to come over she comes over if she doesn't she doesn't so if we move into here we have ne this is Jerry and Jerry's in their bedroom which again now that it's winter time it's full up with lots of hay and there's shavings underneath that and then they can come down here and that's just, this is where they have their food and then during the day they can come and play in these boxes I'm pretty sure Nemo will be in one of them as well oh look there's Nemo and then they can get under here and still be outside even if it's raining and then this is just the fake grass that they can lay in lay on and rub against and they quite like it so and yeah, there's their water bottle and there's their water bowl. I have to give them a water bowl and a water bottle because I don't really think many animals really like drinking out of water bottles because they prefer to have the bowls. So they have bowls as well. The ferrets did have a water bowl, which was the silver one that's sort of right there. And it didn't really matter what bowl I kind of put in, they tipped it up anyway, so they're just up to a water bottle. So yeah, these are our animals, and um, like I said, would like to get a bigger hutch for the other bunnies, but they don't really spend that much time in it, only at night when they sleep, and I don't really lock them up until sometimes 12 o'clock at night, and they go out um, really early in the morning, so it's literally just for them to for them to sleep in. Um, so yes, if you would like me to do, I've got a video about how to look after your uh, rabbits and guinea pigs in the winter time so um, stay tuned for that it's taking me a while to edit and um, I'm gonna do more videos on uh, housing rabbits and outside all, all different animals really the ferrets and things that you can do to look after them so stay tuned for those kinds of videos. I'm having nacho chips it's basically chips instead of nachos with chili hummus instead of um, sour cream uh, 
what was that called? Um, guacamole and salsa. So yeah, and some jalapeno peppers.